Right then, back to Group C we go. Joe Cullen watching and waiting to see what happens here. Michael Smith looking to confirm his spot in the knockouts for the sixth year in a row and ultimately confirm Joe Cullen's as well. He got off to a slow start, didn't he, against Lisa Ashton, who managed to take a few legs off him. She managed to take a few legs off Joe Cullen as well before taking all two points on a Saturday. And that was before thrashing Joe Cullen 5-1 yesterday. Only managed 1-180 so far. What's that about? That's got to change soon, hasn't it? Richie Edhouse, he's here on his debut. Lost to Joe Cullen before claiming two points from Lisa Ashton. They've met three times on the Pro Tour this year. Two wins for Smith, one for Edhouse. Who wins this one? Let's head to Laura Turner and Mark Webster to find out. Yeah, thank you, Emmett. Is there more drama to come in this group? Great performance from Lisa Ashton. She had Joe Cullen wobble, but he showed his class to get through and win that match 5-3 and he'll be watching on here as Michael Smith looks to top a Grand Slam group yet again. Hasn't played like he can, a tournament average of just shy of 93. And then we see he's won his last 15 group stage matches. And he's only ever lost three in the group stage in total and two of them were on debut in 2013, there was one in 2017. He's pretty efficient in these groups. Ladies and gentlemen, first leg, Michael. Joe Cullen, we hoping he's just as efficient here. And if a Michael Smith victory, we'll see himself and Joe Cullen have big cues next to their name and qualify for the last 16. 78. Yeah, do you feel this is a big task for Ed House? Smith is having a great year. Ranked now world number four. Fulton not been at his best, so there's some hope for Ed House. Pointed out by Emma, 1-180. What is that about? <laughs> Michael Smith, a massive 180 hitter, and it's a big trait of his game, isn't it? But not got into gear, but this tournament is about getting through the group, and you feel Michael Smith. You, we, we expect him to get the job done here, Laura, don't we? Yeah, we do. We do, but uh, short format, you know, anything can happen, but... You just feel that Michael Smith, when he kicks in, when that scoring power comes out, then he's so hard to beat. Well, he spoke to Ed House the other day, though, and he said, this is just a bonus for him. He, he, eight days ago, he's Nine going to a qualifier, seven. thinking, what can happen? Well, he, he came through that qualifier pretty easy. Victories over Clearmaker, Adrian Lewis, Nenches, Zunneveld. No last leg decided. It's all pretty Nine routine. Seven. And then he's won one of his two games here. But again, it's just a, another step in the right direction for Richie's. A steady performer and getting involved in a different TV event, a different environment is only going to help him. One will require 126. <laughs> 84. Which you require 108. Oh, not when near the ball there, and Ed House to strike an early blow. And lucky. Yeah, you see, shaking the head, but Smith will return for 42. 92. And will we'll require confirm a hold throw in the opening leg. It's tops. Game shot yeah, nicely leg. done there, Michael Smith. Michael Smith. Say hello, Richard, the throw first. Game on. You were saying earlier, weren't you, about, about Ed, Ed House? He's one of those players that's the. Uh, come through kind of started off with the BDO then went on to challenge tour and there we see his first 180 he got his tour card in 2021 and as you say it's a bonus but the prize money that he's earning this weekend you know he, he's coming at ranked 57 he's now touching on a uh, top 50 it was eight and a half thousand worst case scenario for him if he finishes third after this game he said he's in the world championship in mine head he's a solid performer Richie Edhouse there we see. Well, at the minute, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Michael Smith Nine top, Cullen second, but you know, one leg into the match. Smith with one more leg cannot top the group. Headhouse really has to force the issue because he's, he's not won the ball, so he's going to need some breaks here. Good leg here from Ed House. 167 after nine. Michael unable to find a treble. Yeah, first start did him no favours, did it, Laurie? Low, kicked up, blocking the target. And Ed House will just stay there. 
Yeah, and like I said, he'll just stay there. <laughs> he should have stayed there, Rich. Michael Smith back on 250. Yeah, to be in the mind of a dart player. Uh, if he's going for the 57, he's, he's intending to go for it, isn't he? But he's he's left the door ajar here. Well, double nine. Yeah, there we see. Just invited a little bit of pressure there, Richie Edhouse. 110 for the two-leg lead for Michael Smith. So a let off. Edhouse back for nine. Which you require nine. It's not ideal. He was in control, and that was just in the one, but double four. Needs double two. Five He's invited the pressure, Richie Edhouse. A leg he was in control of. Looks like it's going to slip from his grasp. Smith for two now, and a real steal. Michael Smith with a couple of 17 darters. Has a two leg lead. Um, the trap door looms loud. Large for Richie Red. Oh, I'm get your words out. Richie Edhouse. Easy <laughs> one. <laughs> As you were saying, that uh, second leg there does mean Michael Smith will top the group. Wow, and then we'll go on to face the runner up of Group D, which is either Cross or Schindler. And yeah, we don't have to wait long for that one. That's our final match of the evening. And there's no calculations there. Winner goes through. Sixty. Yeah, Ed House, if he got the next five legs, would finish on plus two. He'll be tied with Cullen. But he did lose to Cullen in the group. He's he's almost done here, Richie Ed House, and it, it's his own downfall in terms of this match. That last leg was. A bit car crashing, just to give him a foothold early on, because Michael Smith hasn't really flown out the blocks, Laura, has he? No, not at all, but he's uh, definitely wow. picking it up in this leg. Fulton. Down to a double in 12. 3-0 for Michael, Michael Smith. And that is the leg. a convincing Michael leg from Bully Boy. And that is Michael Smith and Joe Cullen into the last 16. As you see there, Richie Edhouse not able to hit a double as yet, but uh, excellent finishing from Michael Smith. Three out of four, 75%. And it's a match average of... Oh, it's just gone up to 100 for Michael Smith, and it's not looked that great, Laura, has it? And that's where the finishing's come in. Wicked little bounce out there. One the twitch. And Ed House looks a bit of a beaten man, and 43. second leg has done all the damage. Poor decision making. Michael Smith showing his experience. Is this a, a max? It is. He's doubled his maxes for the tournament to two. But we will see plenty more, I'm sure. Michael Smith into the last 16. 65. Yeah, despite the slow start from Smith, well, we the performance from him of the tournament so far. Game show. Really good tidy up from Michael Michael's Smith. Set. That's 4 0. That's an average of just over 107. It's four from six on the doubles. Michael Smith has saved his best performance in this Grand Slam so far to the final group game. Just got to finish the job. It's him and Cullen going through. It'll be Joe Cullen versus Dirk von Dijvenboda. Michael Smith will face either Martin Schindler or Rob Cross. When you watch Michael Smith play like that, the rhythm, the flow, and the scoring power, it's, it's just a dream to watch. Yeah, I agree. And when he's playing well, things like treble 15, one double two, that it's an absolute mess, isn't it? But he just made it look completely routine. There we see confirmation. Smith top. Curling second. Both got the cues next to their name. 
and into the last 16. One yeah, Dow's just not able to find that second treble back on 186. So six starts for 2 1 2 here for Michael Smith. Oh, how unlucky is that? I don't think it's going to hamper Michael Smith too much, but there we see it's just got caught on one of the flights, but and I was having a little smile. I think he'll reflect on what a successful sort of week qualifying for the event. He was put in a group with two Premier League players on the top ladies player on the women's series. Steady, Michael. Wait a little bit longer. Would you require 86? To Ed House to 32. To get a leg on the board. Game <laughs> <shot the football. laughs> Deserves a leg, to be fair to him. And it's a break of throw for Richie. And a smile from Michael Smith. I mean, I think it's just delaying the inevitable, but yeah, I like that. Richie Ed House enjoying himself. Will be eliminated obviously after this match, but eight and a half thousand on his ranking, and it's more progress for Richie Edhouse. Maybe doesn't get the credit he deserves, but as a real solid Nine performer. Two, one hundred forty. Six one forty there for Michael Smith. But, uh, Well, it looks like it's just a little bit of a, a delay in the inevitable now. Smith 19. take control of this. He'll hope is the final leg. Day off tomorrow. And it's the last 16 kicking off on Wednesday evening. One As we were saying earlier, Michael Smith saving his best performance for the last group stage. One a bit complicated tomorrow night as well, though. I don't think we've got any street shootouts tomorrow, have we? So, calculators out tomorrow. Richie. I'm quite fine, another treble. What a way to finish. Bullseye. Unlucky, he was always going forward. I know Ed House was on the finish, but great effort, Michael Smith. Here we go, 25. To cap off a fine display. And then it is, brilliant performance from Michael Smith. 5-1 victories, best performance of the event. And another 180, an average of just over 102. He dispatches Richie Edhouse, and it's another Grand Slam group where Michael Smith has won all three of his matches. He's in to the last 16. He doesn't know his opponent.